Obviously, the last half, the first half, didn't go Tennessee's way. Shots weren't falling. The effort, and I guess digging down deep inside, going into that second half. Talk about that from the guys, especially from two guys, Santi and uh, Jemai Meshack. Yeah, I think um, we can probably throw everybody in there, but I think Zakai obviously had a big moment in there, too, that kind of electrified the building here, which that's that's always a big help with this crowd. Um, I think we came out, you know, we knew what we had to do. Coaches talked about it at halftime. You know, the defensive effort. Game plan was great. Rod did an awesome job preparing us in here. Um, but I think when we got through the first few minutes of the second half, I didn't think we quite had our edge as energetic, as focused as we needed to be. And then I think as it went on, we kind of got into a rhythm defensively, if you will. Everybody talks about that on offense at times. But defensively, we got into a rhythm. We got some matchups. I know they were keen on it because of their size, trying to take advantage of some of our guys with how big their guards were. But I think we got to where we found a rhythm, how we were going to play, and where we could help from, where our rotations were. Got much better as the game went on. Coach, can you come up just a little bit? Thank sure you. can. Thank you. <laughs> Is it difficult to keep 18 to 22-year-olds from looking at the other team's record going into the basketball game? Um, I think you got to be real with them. And you know, understand, like, if we're, if we're talking about Georgia Southern at 09, they've also played every game but one away from home. So I've been in that situation, literally. And that's a very difficult thing to do with your basketball team. They've been in games. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. They've got a few talented guys. But I think for our basketball team, what we talk about, and Coach talks about this, whether it's them, Illinois, uh, Purdue, we've got to be who we are, play to our identity, and improve. Coach, I know Dalton is impacting the game in a lot of ways, but how, is he, how does Josiah, do you think, really benefit specifically from playing with him? It seems like it's freeing him up to be himself. Yeah, I think, you know, um, I'll go back to, you know, maybe one of the silly NBA terms we have. We talked about certain guys being great blend players and connectors. And I think that's what Josiah is. He obviously, he, to me, has elite hands and is a tremendous defender because of his versatility, size, strength. You guys have all seen it, you know, obviously, since he's been here. Um, but having Dalton, I think, has taken a little more pressure, giving Joe a little more life, space, and freedom to do what he does. And he's adapted really well to it. How important are these next four games for SEC play for freshmen to kind of get along and be able to give y'all big minutes to play against? Well, one, you know, we have to do, everybody in this team, their part. There's no guarantee that those guys will get in and have the opportunity to play. I mean, that's all dependent upon, like Coach talked about before the Illinois game, what they do in practice. Have they earned their minutes? That's where you earn your minutes. And second, you know, do we play well enough or find time periods or lineups where these guys can get in there, get some experience, and excel? Coach, Saturday. for you personally, after leaving Georgia Southern, then kind of took a turn into scouting, brought you back to coaching here. Just what led to that turn in your career path, and then what brought you back to college coaching? Well, I think the NBA got tired of me. So, um, you know, my parachute opened again. Uh, you know, coming here to Tennessee has been unbelievable. It's been a privilege. And I've said that before, but it's, it's genuine. It's just not for here. The media has been a privilege to be in this program. The whole thing, I could go through it. But, um, you know, it was exciting. I mean, I did enjoy my time other than the losses when I was coaching at Georgia Southern. It was a great experience for me. Still have relationships, close friends, players that, you know, one was here for the last game, um, you know, that I stay in touch with. But I think the opportunity then to take what I learned along my path of 23 years working in the NBA, and I've said this before, what value can I add to this program? That's how we should all view this as people, coaches, etc. whatever you're doing. Time has taught me that, that it is really not about me, it's about us. And so it's exciting for me to come back and lend whatever experience I can to the guys and the, and the people we have here, whether it's coaches, uh, players, uh, managers, whatever I can do. It, it's exciting, and believe me, I don't take myself that serious. I take what I do serious, but I don't take myself that serious. Is Saturday the best example of this team's identity to this point in the season? Yeah, I would say for the for the full 40 minutes. I, I'd say that's fair. I, I think there's been other games this year where we have, I would say Wisconsin, you know, was a, um, as you look at, I know they took a tough loss at Arizona, but, you know, those of you that have been out there, we've been out there. Hard place to play, and they're exceptional this year, I think, right? Ranked one right now. But having gone on that road to play the place we played, the teams we played, um, 
you can st still see where Purdue is. I thought, you know, with what was it, 234 in that game, we're tied. So we've been right there, kind of at the, at the precipice of getting things done, other than Carolina, which we got back in. But I would say for the full 40, that's probably accurate. Assist numbers have been up as a team the last two games. What do you think has led to that? I think better ball movement and us understanding like where our shots are coming from. Also, uh, we've done a, a, a much better job of playing downhill. I think if you guys watch, have you ever seen Josiah or Santi play with the assertiveness and the willingness to get to the basket? A lot of that is, you know, coach on, hey, we got to get paint touches because that creates opportunities for lobs, spray outs, finding guys in open windows for shots, and it puts pressure on the defense. So. I think that's why we're playing a little bit better. Coach, you talk about paint touches. What about what is sparking Jonas on, the, on this little run? And what's, is it can it snowball and make it sustainable for these season results? Yeah, I think it's sustainable. I think for Jonas, you know, the maturity from his freshman year, and you all saw. I can't remember if everybody was here his freshman year, but he has just matured a lot emotionally. His preparation, his approach to things, and I think what Coach Barnes has done with him, probably over the last two weeks, and pushing him promoting him, giving him confidence, having us play more through him. So some of that was probably us finding a balance, and I think we have found it now, and I think Jonas, yes, he can sustain it. Anything else for Coach? All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.